Michael? Michael? Oh, shit. Who is that? All right, real funny, ha ha, seriously, who's there? Colder. What the hell? Warmer. Hey, watch it! Oh, good, you're awake. Quite the tumble you took there. You know, it's bad luck to open an umbrella indoors. Are you... Speaking? Yes, I believe so. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to startle you. Um, right. Right, no, yeah, that's... fine. God, I must have hit my head hard. You did. But I was talking to you before that, so if your theory is that I'm a hallucination brought on by head trauma, I'm afraid that's been debunked. Right. Well... Why are you talking? Because you're lonely. I'm not... I'm not lonely. Yes, you are. That's the only explanation. I can talk because you need me to. I I'm pretty sure I don't need you to talk to me. Then why am I talking to you? I just asked you that. Right, but the difference is I'm not the one imagining you. I thought you just said... I wasn't imagining you. No, I said I'm not the result of head trauma. Other kinds of trauma are still very much on the table. You're my trauma. No, I am a fuzz. Right. You're a fuzz. But you're talking because of some kind of physical manifestation of my trauma. I can talk because something in you needs me to talk. So what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know, but until you figure it out, I'm a talking fuzz. So if I can somehow determine what in me is making you talk, then you'll stop talking. I don't know, Michael. There isn't really a protocol for this situation. I'm a fuzz dangling from a bathroom mirror. But that's probably it, right? That would be my guess, yes. But that's probably because we share a brain. Right. Okay. Well, I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to go for a bit. Um, when I come back, if you're still talking, we can figure this out.
Watch where you point that thing! Okay, so I'm losing it. Yes, probably, but don't shoot the messenger or stab, I guess. What are you doing here? I, I thought you were a fuzz. I was a fuzz when you could see a fuzz. Now you can't see the fuzz, so I have to be something else. I'm an eggs. You're an eggs. I'm an eggs. This is ridiculous. I'm not trying to sound Holy creepy. Hell. This is me being sincere. I don't think you can escape me. What the fuck? I'm telling you, I'm inside your head. Wherever you go, you will find a way to see me, whether you want to or not. You're really not just a fuzz. I'm a fuzz. I'm an eggs. I'm a coffee table with two conveniently symmetrical coasters. I'm whatever you need. I don't need you at all. If that were true, I wouldn't be speaking. So however you need to process this, fine. But until we figure out why you made me, I'm sticking around. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Really? You found this to be my most palatable form? Shut up a sec. You said I was lonely. You said you were lonely. Right, but I said it through you. And if I understand correctly, you represent a me that can be honest with me. So if you tell me that I'm lonely, that must mean that I know that I'm lonely. I just don't know that I know that. So I created you to tell me. Makes sense so far. So I figured out why you can talk. Mazel tov. Then why are you still talking? Because if I stop, you'll be lonely. Right. So we're screwed. What? You're going to keep talking to me because if you stop, I'll be lonely, but even with you here, I'm lonely because you're not really another life form. You're just a reflection of me. So the cycle of loneliness just goes around and around. Ah, uh, yes, that does present a problem. Well, then maybe we're supposed to find a way to make you less lonely. You think I haven't tried that? No, I don't think that. Same brain, remember? Oh, yeah. I just mean, maybe we need to try something different. Maybe instead of making you less lonely, we make you more okay with being alone. As long as you're relying on someone or something else for your happiness, you risk losing it. You've got to put your stake in something that isn't going to go away. You've got to put it in you. Other people come and go, but you'll never be without yourself. Well, that's what I'm doing right now, aren't I? With you? I mean, you're me, right? Yes and no. But you said- I am you, but I'm still a projection. For whatever reason, you feel the need to give these thoughts a physical form outside of yourself in order to feel like they matter. You're still relying on someone or something else. I didn't think of it that way. Yes, you did. Right. Same brain. Maybe you're not such a nuisance. I'm flattered. The question is, why aren't your own thoughts enough for you? I don't know. I guess I just feel like it doesn't count if it's coming from me. But it counts coming from a fuzz? Fair point. You need to unlink your thoughts from the fuzz. Think them to yourself. Allow that to be enough. But how am I supposed to think about myself objectively? You're not. Who said you needed to be objective? I don't know. I, I guess I did. You're not meant to be objective about yourself. That goes against the very nature of objectivity. It's okay to be on your own side. Hmm. Hey, wait, wait! Shit, sorry. So I have to find comfort in myself without the need for another life form? But then I'll just be talking to myself. That's what you're doing now anyway. But isn't that sad? It doesn't have to be. 
you can talk to yourself about happy things. Right, but is that as good as talking to a real person? Maybe not, but a real person isn't always a viable option. Sometimes there's no one, and when that happens, you have two choices. You can tell yourself happy things, or you can tell yourself sad things. Either way, you're gonna have to rely on you. The question is, are you gonna beat yourself up? Or are you gonna lift yourself up? So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you wait for me. Hold me like you never let me go. I'm leaving on a jet plane. And what if I do neither? Then I guess I'll stick around forever. That doesn't sound so bad. But you can do better than not so bad. How do you know? I just know. Try it. What? Tell yourself a happy thing. Try a joke. I don't know any. I know for a fact that isn't true. Same brain, dummy. Tell a joke, even if it's a bad one. Okay. Okay, so a guy walks into a bar. No, don't tell it to the fuzz. The fuzz isn't gonna care. Tell it to you. Tell it for you. Right. So, guy walks into a bar. When he sits down, he sees three pieces of meat hanging above him. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the meat, right? Bartender says, if you can jump up and slap all three pieces of meat, then you get free drinks for the night. But if you try and miss, then the whole bar gets your tab. The guy just shakes his head and Says he's not going to do it. He tells the bartender, The stakes are too high. <laughs> Get it? Get it, Fuzz? <laughs> <laughs>